So a couple of days ago, Hypixel released a new Bedwars rotational item, and it's called the Festivity Mine. Now, after playing with this item for a few times now, I can safely say it is the most broken thing in Bedwars. This item is literally a replacement for TNT. Like, it's so broken, what the heck? So I'm gonna try and use it in, uh, in these games, and hopefully I don't lose in the process, but I guess that doesn't really matter because we're just trying out the new items here, so... Yeah, I guess we'll see how we go. So if you look at the shop, it costs 4 gold, and it can be disarmed by shooting them, which um, might be a bit confusing, but I think if you just shoot it with like a bow and arrow or you fireball it, it will disarm it. However, what I did find out is that if you mine it with the pickaxe, it just instantly disarms it, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna try and use this item on white here, <laughs> so let's just see how it goes. Um, it's not really effective if white doesn't have a bed defense. Yeah, they're still in the game. Okay. It's not effective, like... Oh, okay, I wasn't able to, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so it actually does, um, a, like, a little bit of damage, and yeah, I died. The basic, um, situation here is that it does, like, one heart of damage, um, if you have leather armor. And that's not too bad, considering how it's just TNT, basically. There's just one problem, though if you were to always like use this. Like the biggest problem is that you also take knockback. So not just your enemy, but you also take a lot of knockback. You know, I could be crazy enough to like bridge over here. Yeah. Oh, hello. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna die again. Never mind because I'm actually good at the game. <laughs> Honestly, Orchestra is not really a good map to be using this item on because like the generators are way too slow. But you get the point, Um, this item is pretty expensive from the standpoint of gold because like gold is a pretty important uh, resource in the game and like if you're always using gold just for that purpose uh it gets pretty expensive so what i'm gonna do here is i'm just gonna get one of these mines and i don't know why i got tnt like that's just completely useless i'm gonna use tnt here because i'm not gonna use the freaking festivity mine yet if this dude does come back i'm gonna place down the mine somewhere but i don't think he will yeah he's just gonna drop down okay they're both fighting uh yellow got absolutely annihilated no it didn't kill him okay it's basically a pressure plate if you were to put this like on top of this block for example i guarantee you 90 percent of people who come by this area will not see it and it will literally explode whenever they're near it by the way like you don't have to completely be standing on it for it to explode if you go near it it's already gonna explode and that is just absolutely crazy red is inside their base they have oh my god they have sharpness that's, that's a little bit scary i don't even have armor <laughs> okay i might actually do that oh wait he has wood and he's got mining fatigue yeah my bet's gone i probably should have not done that um okay if he's gonna run away sure but i'm gonna go to your bed bro i will place this here oh actually never mind i i'm actually gonna die here he did not activate it. Oh, that is so sad. Okay, I killed him though. That's completely fine. This guy's building up. That is not really nice, bro. Should I just... Oh! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> no way, bro. That was... <laughs> this is just such an insane item. Like, honestly... Oh my god. Oh. So, you guys saw that, right? <laughs> that was just so crazy. Oh my goodness. Is he actually gonna come up here? Oh, he is. Come on! Oh my goodness, that last combo was amazing. <laughs> yeah, so, festivity mines, they're just stupidly overpowered. Okay, so I was approaching the red player, right? And he started building up because he saw me building up too. And that's when I drank my jump potion. So I saw him building up, and yeah, he's building up really high. So I got down below him. He jumped, and it activated. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is just broken. Like, this guy had no idea it was here at all. Like, bro, oh my god. <laughs> if you guys look closely, though, like, when it activates, it's actually the same as TNT. Like, that is just crazy. Look at this. It's TNT, dude. It's literally TNT. <laughs> I have to say, this is probably the most insane item I have ever seen in the Bedwars rotation. Like, I've, <laughs> I've genuinely never seen anything this useful before. 
Like, don't get me wrong, like, this item is just crazy, okay? And, and it's, like, actually quite useful. In many situations where you don't have a bed, it's actually quite useful. And also, I think gray is really sweaty. Aqua and yellow might be, like, big sweats, so it's gonna be pretty sweaty, and if I lose this, I won't be surprised at all. After all, I'm only here to just showcase the true capabilities of this freaking item. Like, it's, it's just crazy, okay? Alright, well, I got the bet. That's completely fine. And if I lose my bet here, then that is just my fault. Okay, never mind. I would probably... Um... Oh, wait. Actually, Aqua is here. What the heck is he doing here? Like, Aqua already built this diamond generator. That is interesting. I'm gonna try and break Aqua bed because I am not... I don't feel safe if, like, no one has a bed. You know what I'm talking about? I already have everything I need to mess with these players, so let's just get moving. I do want to try and use the festivity mine on Aqua, if possible, because he, he is the sweat here, and annoying sweats are like the best thing in Bed Wars, you know. Uh, I really want Red to fight this guy. He doesn't have sharpness, that's- No, stop! Don't- don't fight me. And Aqua's gonna get your bet, you buffoon, bro. Oh my goodness. Nice! He killed him. That is so amazing. Alright, jump on this, jump on this, jump on this. Nice, bro. Oh, it actually nearly killed me. See, see, like, that's my problem. Like, you just, it deals too much knockback. But it broke the bed, and I didn't get it. If you think about it, it's just basically TNT, but instantly. Like, it's instant TNT, if that made any sense at all. I'm gonna try and break his bed. Hopefully, uh, use the festivity mine to the fullest extent. This guy doesn't see me, I think. Or I think he's just dishing his bed. I don't know, one of the two. Oh, he fell. Oh, that is nice. Alright, I'm gonna break his bed. Okay. Well, I can't really use the festivity um, mine up there. Uh, because chances are... Yep, okay. It is gonna knock me off, right? There we go! <laughs> that is so broken. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so I recorded this footage like a couple of hours after the other one. And we don't talk about why. Anyway, we're here on rooftop, and there's one specific reason as to why I chose this map over, like, all the other maps. Um, I'll show it in a moment. Oh! Gray! No, 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 no! Okay. I unfortunately do not have long arms, and he nearly killed me, oh my goodness. Alright, he's on two. Nice, bro, nice. Okay. Come on. Okay, there we go. Let's go. On rooftop, we have this iron door right here. And the thing is, this iron door cannot be open unless you have like a glitch button or a pressure plate. Since we have this, and this festivity mine is technically a pressure plate, if you place it down, you can open this door. And the thing is, <laughs> if you were to trap yourself in here, you would be unkillable literally unkillable now that's now <laughs> however fortunate you are to be unkillable you unfortunately would not be able to get out so you're basically just stuck like literally right here like there's nothing you can do at all you're just stuck in here forever until you disconnect and reconnect so yeah it's it's kind of like broken especially if you like abuse this hard on rooftop and like you get someone trapped in there they're basically trapped forever un until you know you free them but just to think that bro you can literally trap someone in like the most stupid way possible like that's actually kind of crazy to think about all right well i'm gonna have to quickly end this game off because uh, as far as i know yellow is getting incredibly stacked and blue is probably doing the same thing or he's trying to kill yellow either way i need to go ahead and okay yeah blue is just killed by yellow i have a feeling yellow is really really stacked because i've just been trying to collect diamonds this whole time i am actually dead fireball me i dare you yeah there we go okay is he gonna drop he is so stacked, bro! Oh my god. He is so stacked, and there's no way I'm gonna... There's no way I'm gonna beat this. I'm probably dead here. I got I got an iron sword. Nope. Rip. It's all over. <laughs> He's so stacked, dude. Alright, well, can we just pretend that that game never happened? I know I was playing, like, terribly, and that's totally my fault, but... Whatever. Bedwars players are getting more smarter when it comes to, like, how to defend their bed. 
And that is something that I don't like. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Go in here and just get protection right away, just in case I die. How the heck did you know I was here? And how did I even win that? I, I don't know. Oh my god. Aqua's the same person from last game, and I lost that guy, and I'm not happy right now, so... I am just gonna go rush him right now. I, I mean, I have, like, way more gear than that guy does. Okay, I, I don't want him to go to mid. Oh my god. What I exactly hope for him not to do is really going to happen now because I'm an idiot. I didn't execute that correctly, first of all. Just a bit of a rant for Rooftop. It's not that bad of a map. I mean, it's, it was one of my favorite back in the day. <laughs> I, I know, like, many people have issues with this map when it comes to, like, frames or something like that. I have no idea. But... The basic idea here is that people generally hate this map for the fact that they get a lot of frame drops. And okay, man, I mean, sure. I think I have a trap. Yes, I do. Nice, he got stuck in a block. Oh my god, rip him. And I also have 8M, so you know what that means. We're gonna get Obsidian. This is so unnecessary, but it's just amazing, okay? Obsidian is just the best thing in the game. Literally, with Obsidian, your chances of winning are just like 10 times higher. I don't know, people like to go up there. I usually never see people, um, like, do some weird strat, which is kind of weird of talking about anyway. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that I usually don't see people do the things that I don't normally see in Bed Wars, if that makes any sense at all. Like, on, on certain maps, you know, so, for example, maps like, um... Excuse me, I wasn't able to hit him and that was a pretty cool clutch, but I died anyway. I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm hoping this guy isn't like too good at the game, but I can't really be like defending myself on luck or anything because it's just not good. And either way, oh, he's right. He's right here. He's right. Okay. So... Okay, I think I got him, right? Oh, he's still alive. Oh, so he clutched down there. There we go. Now he's dead. GG. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, the festivity mine, it's it's pretty fun to use. And I think it can be really annoying sometimes, especially when you're fighting against like sweats and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, um, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, make sure to just smash like and sub. And yeah, comment, whatever. I'll see you in the next video.